And we're live. Hey, hey, it's TGI Friday here to kick off your Lego loving weekend. Oh, I almost spat that out right. <laughs> and this week I've got a bit of a topic because I want your help. I need some inspiration for um, something smaller to take to um, traveling shows, uh, particularly on planes to places. So um, if you're in the live chat and you've got some ideas, throw them my way. I'm looking for anything and everything at this point. As always, I've got my Lego friends joining me. We've got Dark Side Bricks. Hi, hey, everybody. Good to see you. We've also got... Finland, Jody. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Not too bad. Nice shirt. Thank you. King's Castle. Something different. Yeah. Cool, cool. And last but not least, we've got my brother from the same mother, Adam, from inside the brick box. And he's going to toy, clearly. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Good, good, good. Good, good. All right. All right. So, good until uh, I saw what popped up on um, Wednesday night when I started the stream. What popped, up, what popped up on Wednesday? Oh, you saw the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yes, that, there's the reason why. I was quiet for a whole bunch of time at the beginning. I was trying to Yeah, read yeah. Man. I was watching you back and you're like staring in the screen going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, how's everyone's week been? We've been up to much. Um, just um, working, to be honest. After my uh, boys' trip overseas, I back to the back to the bills and the daily grind. Real well. Back to the real uh, world. Work, 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 work. Yeah. Quick stop past the big W toy sale. Other than that, not much. Ooh. You've been up to much dark side? Uh, doing a bit of building, a bit of streaming. I started on the um, pirate, pirate roller coaster. I'll finish that next Thursday because um, my stream got cut short. Oh, what um, happened? Uh, I opted to cut it short to help someone else out. But, uh, oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, Which is community. Won't, probably won't do that again. Um, otherwise, yeah, building and streaming. And tomorrow, Melanie and I are going to be building the um, detective's office. Oh, cool. So for anyone who's new here watching who hasn't seen um, Darkside before, he's got a Twitch stream. If you do Twitch, go check him out. Um, if you like what you've seen, go give him a follow or subscribe if you love him that much. He does cool stuff. What have you been up to, Adam? Anything? Um, well, starting to work on um, Plan B for later this year. Plan B. What well, later? Well, if if the room is right and hangouts are going. Oh. <laughs> Plus, I've been working on on um. Oh, what's the name of the program? Yes. No, Streamlabs oh. OBS. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so OBS, OBS for stupid people like me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm working on that. I actually um, started to build a, a website through them and oh. um, starting to get some merch ready. Hopefully I'll launch it before Gladstone. Oh, so are you looking at moving over to Twitch? No, no, no. Still on YouTube. Oh, oh, right. I got you. You're using YouTube, but you're using Streamlabs and stuff. I got it. Yeah. Okay. okay. All good. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's if 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 everything goes to, you know what. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just hoping. Uh, hoping what I've heard is maybe they'll just um, bring in uh, like a a plugin to their. Yeah, I think it'd be good to have something else for us to use. Please, Google, yeah. if you're listening. I I, yeah. I love you, Google, but seriously, you're messing with my streaming. Yeah, especially people like me who have ADSL still. Mm. We heavily rely on it. Yeah. Oh, well, well I guess we'll find out how it goes. Uh, anyway. but, but, but on the positive side, I should have a more powerful processor sometime this year because I need – 
more power. Yeah. For, for, for streaming. <laughs> more power. More power. Okay. Well, uh, this week I haven't done a lot of Lego other than our normal streaming stuff and getting a few things prepped for for the stall at um, the Gladstone show. Mm. But I made a big decision. What do you think that decision might be? I don't know. You're going to adopt out your younger brother. <laughs> You're going to help move your parents? That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> no, um, I've decided to give in to peer pressure. Um, I've got friends that are interstate that have been bugging me for forever that I should come to one of their shows and that nobody ever comes to their shows from interstate. So I decided I'd bite the bullet and if I can get the money together, I am going to go to Pictober. <laughs> so it's, it's one that's on my bucket list that I've been wanting to do for a couple of years now, but oh my Lord, plane trips to Perth are expensive. <laughs> Even on sale. Here, here you go. You've got the choice. Would you want to go to Perth or would you want to go to Hawaii? They cost roughly about the same. Actually, <laughs> I think Hawaii is a bit cheaper. Oh, the difference with Hawaii is I'd have to get a passport first. Yeah. <laughs> Rectober would be awesome. Oh, yeah, like um, there's some really talented builders over in Perth, like really talented builders. And, um, you know, I, I've got more than a couple of friends over over in Perth, so I'm sure one of them can put me up for accommodation, so hopefully I won't have to worry about that side of things. But, um, yeah, plane mm. trip. And uh, H Hubby has said that um, he probably can't afford to take more time off from working. So he said, if I can't go, you just go by yourself. So it'll be Aussie Rick Chick solo in Perth. Exciting. Plus, you know, I need, I need new content. Too much of seeing the same things over and over. I mean, some of you guys must be bored by now, surely. I mean, some of it changes, but, yeah, I, I want to see fresh new things. And I, I know that we're going to Brickvention next year, and that will be flipping awesome. Um, and I've got big things planned. As soon as I get them approved, I will let people know what's happening. But it, I'm excited for Brickvention, but I'm also excited at the prospect of, um, yeah, getting on a plane and, and going on a very long flight. I didn't know that Perth was like five and a half hours by plane. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not exactly close. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not exactly close, but I didn't think it was like that far. You know it's on the other side of Australia. Yeah, I know it's on the other <laughs> side of Australia. Just like Lego, that no idea how big Australia is. Yeah, true. It's, it's, it's like flying from the east to the west coast of the US. Yeah, yeah. A friend told me. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. You think that's cool? It is cool. Um, are any of my viewers from Perth? Um, <laughs> any, any, anyone want to put me up? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll just take a tent. Yeah, uh, it should be all right weather at that time of the year. I probably could, you know, pitch a tent in somebody's backyard. <laughs> a couch. Yeah, I could sleep on a couch or maybe I can take a camp mat and sleep on your floor. It's all good. The things we do for Lego, eh? That's it. It only takes three hours to fly to Perth because you're going to get there two hours. Just remember that. And it'll take longer home. Yeah, yeah it'll be a seven-hour flight home. <laughs> and your time travel too. Time travel. You well, go back in time. In the future, we're hello from the future. Hello, Perth. Oh, Joe's in the chat. He says I used to fly to Perth to Brisbane fifteen times a year. That's crazy. 
Actually, I think in the chat, I probably should say hello to everybody. Who have we got in the chat today? Hello, chat. Hello. Hi, dear how We've got Douglas McGricken, as always. Uh, inside the brick box, well, um, yeah, he's here now. So yeah. that, yeah. Uh, we've got Ken Marlow Bricks, who says morning in the States. Good morning. Uh, who else have we got? Who, have, who else? Who else? Who else? We've got oh, Ryan Masters popped in. Not sure whether he's still there. Primal Gaming um, says, holy, <laughs> holy crap, Dark Size actually has an imperial control room. What the? <laughs> yeah, he's moved to space. What the? Hang on, I'll click on him so you all can see what he's talking about. <laughs> Your green screen is looking awesome. It's getting there. He's orbiting like, around the Earth. Oh, hang on. Wrong button. Wrong button. I flew there in my TIE fighter. <laughs> 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 oh, so much fun. Yeah, I flew there in the TIE fighter. Oh, good value, good value. Okay, who else have we got? Warren G. Hello, hello. Andrew Thornton says, hey, everybody. Hey. Jason Carpenter has joined us. Hello, hello. He says, ABC disco dinosaurs are easy for transport. <laughs> I am contemplating something dinosaurs. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, where are we? Oh, we had Joe, who's the Hayes fam. Uh and that's it. Oh, and Primal Gaming says it's pretty damn cool. I think it's pretty damn cool too. Oh, and Michael Zaffol has just said hello. Hello. Oh, oh, I downloaded the Lego movie the other day, Lego Movie 2, and watched it. Oh, finally. Actually, last night. Sorry. Nice. It finally oh. came out on digital last night. Yeah. We've, we've got one more late comer that said hi. Hi to Ryan J, who just said, you. You yeah. back at you. Didn't expect that, did you? Uh -huh. <laughs> I just love a little bit of random talking off camera. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I got asked a question. It's all good. All good. <sighs> so, oh, and another one. Starlight Lemming. Hi, all long time no see. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, yes, getting back to my conundrum. Um, so Brickvention, not such a bother because we're um, the, the lug is taking a truck down um, because we have some exhibitors with big exhibits that want to go, and that's excellent. I'm excited about that. Brickvention is excited about that. Um, but for something like Perth or, you know, I'm contemplating Adelaide at maybe next year or the year after as well. I've got friends down there that have been bugging me to death as well. Um Adelaide probably would have been cheaper, but their big show's already over for the year. So there goes that idea. I mean, they've got Brickspo, but it clashes, like, with the timing of, you know, other shows that I've already booked myself in for. So next year's a new year, and we'll see what we can do. But um, I need to think of something that I can either, like, um, uh, you know, send Bricklink orders or things through the post to a friend and maybe put them together at the other end or, or take them disassembled and, or, you know, have them packed. Options. You need options. Yes, I need options. I, I have travelled before because, um, of course, we did convention before. Oh, we got Hey Sam Bricks as well. Hey Sam, you might be able to give me some, some tips and tips on this as well. Douglas says get a pen. Douglas, I can't drive. Okay, so drive. Brian's is the same. Driving is not an option. I've got to fly, unfortunately. Push bike. Oh, I don't have that kind of time, dark side. Train. <laughs> train. Train. Is there even a train that goes like through the middle? Yeah. Yes. There is. Oh, it's probably be more expensive than the plane. And it also takes like three days. It would take longer too. <laughs> Ryan says I'll fly over and then drive back. <laughs> That's not how it works. Because then you still got to get me back home. You can't keep me. 
it's, it's not a, you know, Perth, you're not keeping me. I have to come home. Isn't Haytan over at Perth? There's somewhere you could stay. <laughs> no, Haytan's in Adelaide, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Charity Camel Ride. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take oh, even longer. That would take even longer. Oh, Ryan says he post me home. I don't think they post people anymore. They used to do that in the Wild West. We're not in the Wild West anymore. But nice try. But you are going there. Hmm? But you are going there. Going where? The Wild West. The Wild West. Oh, yeah. The Wild West. Nice one. <laughs> oh, where are we? Starlight Lemming. That that icon looks familiar. My first Brisbane show was just five large cars packed in a box, no larger than hand luggage, printed some signage to make it more interesting. Yeah, that could work. I'm thinking something dinosaurs, but I'm open to... Other suggestions. Um, Space dinosaurs. I don't particularly want to have to drop a lot of money on Lego because, like, you know, I need money to actually afford to go. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, Ryan J says, hey, Dark Side, this is Loki. Locus. Um, picked up my cams today, so we'll be setting up some stuff tomorrow. Ah, that's cool. Twitch friend. Yeah. Some twitches. Yeah. From New South Wales, I believe. Oh, very neat. Maybe, maybe I should start twitching. That might be a, that might be a way to gather funds. Don't need. Twitch. Those one of us. One Don't need to twitch. So if and when they do kill Hangouts, mm. you're going to have to um, set up something and go over and use Lightstream. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at Lightstream or OBS or something like that anyway. I have been toying good with thing, The good thing about Lightstream for you is you get to pick which three people you want to join you because you can only have four people. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's so like, tragic. I'll go off. The program I found, I can have up to 100. Oh, yeah, no, I wonder how stable that's going to be with the stream. I know. Oh, Ryan says Gold Coast. He's on the Gold Coast. Oh, sorry, Gold Coast. Uh, oh, Ryan J. Good place to live. Yeah. Very popular. Yeah. A lot of my friends live there. Yeah. <clears throat> Douglas says, look at all these Queenslanders rugging up because it's cold. It's freezing. It's six point something degrees in Bundaberg, so... I went, yeah. I went there. I wonder how these idiots out on the roof in Ipswich are going. Okay, it feels like because of the wind chill. There was a couple of car thieves who um, they they ran away from the cops are on the top of a building in Ipswich at the moment. I hear it's going to go in the negatives tonight. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Well, it's not cold here. I'm perfectly comfortable in a shirt. But then again, I'm also a weirdo that doesn't feel the cold. Like, And your ooh. place is hot anyway. Yeah, yeah, I do live in a little Just Go stand outside your front door for three minutes and see how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> just, just walk down to the beach. Oh, my goodness. Ryan Masters says we had one degree in Perth the other morning. Oh my goodness, brass monkey weather. One to two degrees. <laughs> Sorry, was that dark sir? Uh Primal Gaming said they've had one to two degrees in the morning regularly at Gimpy. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be four degrees tomorrow morning when we're doing hey. Yeah. Well at least you'll be running. Yeah, Keep but you the cold air really stings your throat when you do yeah. it. I agree. So Don't say those temperatures in Gimpy are going to be up there next week. And... <laughs> Better you than me. I might chuck a sicky. Ah, oh, that's right. I, I've I've got a plane trip to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep, might have to keep saying, "Hey, Dad, you got any any work?" 
Well, well, um, yeah. One bit of good news is that our brick pension trip is pretty much mostly funded, um, except for lost income for a husband. But we've got that all budgeted. So that's the main reason why I've been given the green light to um, raise some money to do Perth. So. Yay. Yay. I'm spreading more wings, boys and girls. Just wonder if anyone else is going to go to Perth. I know it's a big trip. Oh, we could, we could start start brick vention tour early. <laughs> Not that early. Well, okay. I got a super chat. Oh, that, that that's one way to support me. Although, um. YouTube takes half of that. Yeah. Oh, you have you have to you have to set up a, a what same thing, and set yeah, up a tip jar. I've yeah well um, uh, yeah I can probably do something like that. Um, mm. What's something else that I can do? Uh, I was looking at PayPal the other day. Apparently they they do like a um a funds pool thing. I might actually look into having a link for something like that. For anybody who's like a viewer that wants to support, the heck? That was me, my bad. That's okay, Bill. I forgive you. You wouldn't. You, I just want to hear you twice. <laughs> oh, you love me that much. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Ryan. So you, only, you only need probably another 100 times that now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I I did a quick look on the internet for for like you know flights to get sort of a baseline. I'm probably looking at upwards of eight hundred dollars. Oh, he says we would do anything to get interstaters over here. Well, I'm motivated, so well, ch charter charter a plane, bring a freight truck, we'll be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, what have we got? Starlight Living says, Perth's beautiful. Last time I was there, I drove down to the Margaret River for a couple of days too. And that would have been cool. Ha, <laughs> Ryan said I might go to Perth this year. <laughs> Ryan, I would be very, very um, concerned if you didn't turn up to Victoria. <laughs> very concerned. <laughs> Oh, uh, Starlight Lemming says, I hear YouTube take the lowest cut from actual streaming revenue. I'm not sure about that. I think it's a 60-30. Um, no, no, YouTube is about 50-50 um, because I have gotten super chats before. So, mm -hmm. yes. So, so as is customary, I go, thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Maybe I should just say, hey, the next time you want to super chat me, just, just, Chuck it in my PayPal or something. Then I'll get all of it and not give it to YouTube. <laughs> they get they get enough they get enough ad revenue off my videos already. Mm. Be like this tiny tiny portion, and they get all this. <laughs> Ryan says he'll do a road trip in his wagon and pick everyone up. <laughs> How many people can you fit? That's <laughs> my PayPal. I'll, I'll message you later. <laughs> oh, dear. That's got me looking. Yeah. Good. I'll try and draw my sponsors. Okay. Well, I might I might sort out um a PayPal pool, look into the, the logistics of a PayPal pool. It's kind of like a GoFundMe, but um, not as charity i guess you can do it for like anything so cool cool but that said i'm i'm just gonna work hard and you know do my best to make a few extra bucks pocket money and um get flights booked just need somebody to put me up and we'll be sweet and now i need to figure out what i'm gonna build so what am i gonna build come on give me ideas Space dinosaurs. <laughs> Ryan says his car is a five seater. Bidding starts at five dollars, ten dollars for shotgun with radio rights. 
to shut You'd down. have to be mad to want to drive here and back. Ryan says Christmas. Ryan, I don't own Christmas. Although we do have the Star Wars Advent Calendar minifigs, so I suppose I could do something with those. Star Wars Christmas. Yeah. Um. What else we got? I I'm sure I've got a few Santa Clauses. Um. Here we go. Big Rick Spo news from Michael Zaffold. 2,000 tickets sold as of earlier this week. Two sessions sold out. And just announced tonight, Jordan and Miller are going to be there on both days. Yes, I did actually see that. That was really cool. Nice little coup for you. <laughs> Ryan says, Dino Christmas. Dino Christmas. Okay. That could work, maybe. Let me think on it. I, I get the feeling that Christmas is, is, is the general theme. Oh, okay. Uh, Starlight Living says, noob here. Where is Brixpo? Brixpo is in Adelaide. Um, it's in July during the school holidays. And uh, Jordan and Miller are from the Brickmasters show. They actually made it through to the finale. So very cool. What does Diggler say? ABC, please come to come to us, Power Rumper Pum Pum. Another exhibit for you, Power Rumper Pum Pum. <laughs> Jason says, was it shipwrecks, dinosaurs in yachts? I'm not I'm not sure I understand that. Oh, okay. Michael Zaffel says it's July 13th and 14th. And it's um it's Southern Bricks show. Uh, it's their first independent show. So I highly recommend that people go and support them because they're stepping out and doing their own thing and congrats to you. I'm very proud of you. It looks like it's shaping up to be a really awesome show. And I wish I was going, but, you know, I'm already spread thin in July, so maybe next year. So many options. I know, right? Well, in Adelaide, we've got we've got friends, like Lego friends down there, plus we've also got um, some of Sean's family lives down there as well, so no accommodation costs, hopefully. Hey, Andrew Thornton says, Brickspose 13th and 14th, can't wait to go. Yeah. Snap. Okay. Any guys on the panel got any ideas? For a small display. A small display, like, you know, a table or less. I always do small displays and they end up multiple tables. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm saying a table or less. I'm being, I'm being, um, what do you call it? Not practical. I, I'm being um, realistic in my expectations of what I will do. Okay, Douglas is saying Southern Cross bricks are about to open entry entries for the cardinal cardinal bricks down here. They must be having a show. Starlight Lemming says spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. Yeah, the only spaceship I have is Benny's and it's in pieces. Oh, I, I like your thinking. I, I I did sort of contemplate doing something with Rex's um little drop the little drop ship thing. Hang on, I'll grab it. Speaking of which, did you see the images of the new disco Benny on the... Yes, I did. Oh, how cool is that? I'm trying not to buy things, Lego. But I'm a like disco Lego. Benny. I'm like, Lego, I love you. I love you and all, but seriously, you're going to make me broke. But it's He's disco. trouble. Uh-oh. Who, who, who let him in? I reckon. Mate. Mate. Mates, don't worry about who let me in. Who's going to let me out? 
I'll show you the door. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, Listen, I'm not interested in your back door, okay? Thanks for the offer, though. Ooh. 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 All right, all right. <laughs> What's that to? Me? I'm at work. You're at work. Oh, of course you are. You're not supposed to tell us that. Back oh. to the grind. Mate, I'm grinding. Grinding on grinder. Oh, no. Oh. I, thought, I thought you were a big star now. I still got to earn my money somehow, you know. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a washed up child star. <laughs> child star. <laughs> okay, I believe you. <laughs> Yeah, so so you hear I'm 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 planning on going to Perth for Bricktober. Yep, I've the... given him the peer pressure, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see about making it happen. Will you push back, make it, or? Most of the same push by. We'll put it. We'll put a big rubber band on it. My pushy only has three gears. So it's gonna be hard work. Hmm. I'll see. I'll lean you my trike. Oh. Yeah, once you get over the Great Dividing Range, the range is all flat land, so you should be okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <gasps> Douglas, don't say that. You can always grab the back end of a semi-trailer that goes past and just get dragged over to Perth. Oh. You know the hitchhiker's rules, you know what I mean, eh? Hey? Hey? <laughs> 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 jump on, jump on, a, on a, oh, a... you you joke, you joke. Surely you joke. Jump on a train car and just, you know, get your way over that way. Bill, are you saying that truck drivers are not very discerning? No, I'm just saying, you know, when you pick up a hitchhiker, the hitchhiker needs to, you know, pay for their trip somehow. <laughs> what? It's a thing. Not that I've hitchhiked, yeah. but it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, Bill, he just does it anyway. Doesn't yeah. It just does it. <laughs> Be like, I don't care. Well, while you think about that, just just remember that uh, me, Bill, and Jody have all been in the same car at once. <laughs> Poor Jody. Well, mm -mm. well, the the it's nice leather interior, so you know you can't complain when you're luxury. Luxury. Not biting. No. No biting. No. Ah, uh, Ryan's asking, where are you at the moment, Billsy? Um, exactly. You want a GPS coordinate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool and gutter. Cool and gutter. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Checking out the surf. Ah, uh, is it a nice view? It's a bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, fancy that. I mean, we had the full moon the other night, so I guess it is very dark. That's why you need my full moon. It's nice and bright. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you, you're lucky that YouTube is, like, not heavy on the demonetizing for innuendo, eh? It looked like Bills had just had Japan, Japan, Japan flashbacks then. No, nah, Japan was Japan was safe. Japan was all right. Melbourne was the danger. Melbourne was the danger. Oh, I'm so looking forward to Melbourne. Are you excited? Not now that I know you're going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're a bitch. <laughs> you know it too. Only yeah. 206 days until we go to Brickvention. Oh my god! Not like I'm counting or anything, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that. thinking of that in my head. Or going, what the hell? I haven't, even, to go? I haven't even figured out what I'm going to build for pretension yet. Space dinosaurs. That's cool, Bill. Oh, it's the start cool. of a fish tank. That's cool. That is pretty cool. It's very cool. You can come over and look at it tomorrow, Billsy, and help me move my pool table. <laughs> I'd love to help, but I'm actually DJing from nine till six in surface. At night. No, no, I finish work at 7.30 tomorrow morning, then I go straight in and start DJing at 9 a.m. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. Celebrity Inco, it's their open day tomorrow. They've, they've got a new shop. And, um, yeah, we're parking the Jeep inside surface mall. And I'm DJing at the top of it for nine hours. Nine hours. Jesus, nine no. hours. 
Yep. Things I do for money. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were a star. Yeah, I'm like, um, do you, do you have any limitations for what you would do for money, Dilsey? No. No, not at all. Ooh. No, he doesn't actually. Nine times out of ten, I do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all good. Actually, there is lim- there is there is some limitations. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't like red meat. You don't like red meat. Nope. You don't make friends with salad. That 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 as well. You don't make friends with salad. Anyway, um, I was thinking of doing something with this, maybe if somebody wants spaceship. But then I would have to get blue dinosaurs. I thought you had blue dinosaurs. Well, te- technically, there is a blue dinosaur, yeah. Okay. I've got three, but I would probably want more than three. Because I'd want to re- possibly recreate that um, that very brief scene in the Lego Movie 2 where um, he goes and gets the dinosaurs that end up being his crew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big list says ABC News. <laughs> bit loud? Uh, yeah, he's a noisy bugger. I don't know. Can't take him anywhere. Actually, I got stuck behind the street sweeper on the way home today. They, they move real slow. Yeah, you know, we, 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 we take care and pride in our work. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, um, we get we get we get we get paid by the hour, not by the amount we sweep. So you know, <laughs> you get really thorough. Over, yeah. here, over here, they don't use street sweepers. They get out with a shovel, shovel and a broom. They and do. Man, you're, man, you're gonna you're out gonna out spin out when you do. When they bring power to your island, man, you're not gonna know what to do with yourself. <laughs> they don't have street sweepers in Japan. They send old people out with dustpans and brushes. <laughs> oh. No way. That's actually that's actually true. We've seen them everywhere. We're yeah, like, oh, we haven't seen street sweepers. Then every second corner, there's an old dude with this like little haymaker brush thing, just you know, and just just doing his thing. Yeah, just going nuts at the street. And the streets were perfectly clean. They were. Yeah, yeah I must admit, I really enjoyed um, like watching all your antics. Oh, you only saw the PG stuff. Yeah, I know. Oh, that almost wasn't PG in the video where I asked if he had pants on in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah, I saw that bit. I'm so, like, I've got to leave that in. Yeah, of course. So I was going to cut it. If there are any anybody here who hasn't subscribed to Billsy's channel, what have you been doing? The Losers Bench one was um, weight loss. Like It was for the weight loss company, so I could um, go back and ride rides, except for a, a kind of block in the face and I didn't fit on one. <laughs> yeah, but one out of how many was a pretty oh, good uh, Yeah, and then you know what? I've I've been looking the last few days at the one that we missed that was near Legoland, and it looks like it rivals Fuji Q. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, next trip. You're not going back without yes. me. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've already. Don't worry, I've already had that same speech. <laughs> I I, 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 I I like the um onesie you put on your daughter today. Ah, uh, the big butt one. That was so hilarious. Dude, I've got some I've got some raw, like real funny bad humor onesies for her. <laughs> you wait till they start coming out. She's still a little bit too small for them, but some are really good. <laughs> some some I'm just gonna buy white ones and write with texture on myself. <laughs> 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 That's cool. Oh yeah, I'm going to be the cool dad. Useless but cool. Useless but cool. Yep. So like, can you change nappies? Oh, I can speed change nappies. I'm he's good at it. Oh, well, you're not useless. You're good for something. Yeah, I change ashes all the time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the time. <sighs> I like Lego. Oh, by the way, I got told today that uh, my shit talking was one reason why I let my team down. 
Yeah. Yeah, because that is why um, everything went wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Adam, yeah, I was getting uh, – Kale must have un- unzipped and he unleashed on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty uh, delusional. Very, very, very delusional. Hello, brother from another brick. Hey. Oh, it's one of my favourite US peeps. Which number? I don't know. What number are you today, b Oh. Uh, Billsy, uh, are you yes. planning on going to any other shows other than um, Brick, Brick Venture next year? Or um, So we're going to Canberra in August. Oh, sweet. Oh, we've, yeah, I'm going with, I'm, I'm third wheel with Bill and Jody again. Oh, <laughs> how are you? Oh, Bill, you said you talked to her about it. (laughs) (laughs) But there's between Taylor and Jaden, sure. (laughs) Yeah, no, I'm going down with, uh, actually going down with Henry. Henry, oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, so there's the Canberra one. Then, uh, not show-wise, but I've got Melbourne LDC on the 7th of July. So what's that, two, three weeks, the day after the marathon? Mm Mm-hmm. Um, I just literally pulled out of Adelaide tonight. I was going to go down and save Haytan, but it's just too much for Ash for that one. So I've pulled out of Adelaide. Pulled out of Adelaide. Yeah. I didn't like it very much. Um, Then. Sorry, Adelaide. I was going to be in you, but I'm pulling out. Yeah. One baby's enough. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But then, yeah, obviously, Brickvention will be the next big the next the one that everyone's obviously leaning happy for but i do want to try go in the next i mean i don't think i'm about to pull out of my butt by next year but probably the year after i'm gonna to go to scareback even if i gotta go by myself yeah i want to do that too so does joe yeah. yeah i think next next year might be pushing it but the year after good planning because next year we're, we're going to the states in april so it's kind of like too much for one year yeah i hear you. I travel actually when's when's philly Brickfest? isn't that in april no, isn't it in March? Uh, I think oh, okay. it's in March. Uh, yeah. around the oh, damn. Almost, almost, almost scored another Lego trip. Oh, by oh, oh, we got number three, 45. How cool would have that have been? Yeah, there might be one. Well, doesn't um, um, Iceberg live near New York? Yeah, we should still try and catch up with him. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've got to catch up with him. Yeah. That guy is awesome. Yeah, we will. Yeah, Philly Philly Brickfest is on my on my bucket list. As is Scareback, is definitely on my bucket list. On Brick World. Yeah, there's, there's lots of international shows I'd love mm. to go to, but I think I would need a much better job to afford them or sponsors. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm popular enough to have Philly. Sponsors. Philly is in April, late April. Late April. Okay. Um, okay. Starlight Lemming asks, is it okay to ask how slash why Cal and Bilzy ended up on the same team? Because that's what the producers did. Mm-hmm. They put that they put everyone who didn't have a team at, a mate in the hat and they pulled it out. They put the laid back Queenslander with the hipster Up-top. Melbourne. Up top. The high string. Yeah, I won't finish there. Starlight Lemming said, thanks. That's exactly how it looked. And that's exactly how it was. The producers thought there'd be fireworks. I think the producers thought that they would compliment each other, but, you know, producers think that thing's wrong. Exhibit A. Yeah, it feels his heart to put up with. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, BFAB says that he's number 45. I did Let's say that. that, see that earlier, but I couldn't get a word in his way. 
Very good. Okay. I still need ideas. I need all the ideas. What should I build? Space dinosaurs. Space dinosaurs. Dinosaurs on a on a spaceship. Well, the only spaceship I've got is that spaceship that I showed earlier. Spaceship. What about um domestic dinosaurs? Domestic dinosaurs. Yeah. Please explain. This this piques my interest. Yes. Like 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 dinosaurs in almost a, a dollhouse, like doing dishes. Oh, and, uh, I was thinking. I was thinking like like. No, no, not Flintstones. That's been done. More like yeah. um, more like that old TV show, Dinosaurs with Puppets, or whatever it was. Uh, so um, more more like you more like you make kale that was feeding dinosaurs with a milk bottle. Uh, uh, <laughs> Just don't go kale fell. Yeah, Ryan keeps on saying Christmas. Yeah, I, I see your Christmas, Ryan. I, I, I will get Christmas because I, I do. I raise, I raise space. Christmas is kind of cool, but a bit awkward in March. <laughs> awkward in March? Well, for display purposes, like January. Brick benching and stuff, it'd be cool, but January, February, March, April, Christmas has no relevance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Christmas is all year round. Dinosaurs on a spaceship sounds like a good Doctor Who title. <laughs> I've seen that one. I know exactly what you're referencing. But that is a good idea. I'm not sure how exactly I'd pull it off. Um, let's see. Does it does it have to be dinosaurs? Uh dinosaurs would be easy because I've got a lot of them. Why don't you do do like a massive diorama where instead of it being like a dinosaur park and people are going to the park, make dinosaurs normal people and the minifigs the actual attraction at a park, like inverted. Oh, reverse dinosaur park. Yeah, so make it like it's if, as if the you know the whatever you're going to do is yeah, it's actually the dinosaurs of the world and the humans or the minifigs of the attractions or whatever you know. That is an interesting concept. I will They're like domesticated that. dinosaurs. Bingo uh, says, "How about dinosaurs in the natural environment, like the Queen of Buckingham Palace?" <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, Ryan Master says, do I need to point out what I have at my front door? Christmas 247365. Yeah, I do know that. I've got a padlock I've got a padlock that says no no book bashes. No book bashes. Yeah. What is this? Uh, uh, welcome to Homo Sapien Park. Whoa. There you go. Oh, that is a good concept. But I would want to make it bigger than just, oh, you're giving me big concepts. I want, li <laughs> I need little concepts. I suppose I could start small. Or do it, do it like, do like a stadium as if you're going to like a horse race or a dog race, but make it a minifig race and the crowd is full of dinosaurs. That's our options. Okay, what have we got? Um... The comet asteroid impact that killed them all. He says, Ryan can make the giant asteroid. <laughs> well, I, I like that concept of welcome to Homo sapien park. Okay. What have we got? Um, all right, no, no more ideas. I guess that gives me some things to work on. I suppose I could do Christmas and dinosaurs. Would that be too weird? Like have dinosaurs pulling Santa's sleigh? Just use dinosaurs to replace the elves. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could use like little, little dinosaurs to be elves. That's not a bad idea. I'll probably have to acquire more dinosaurs. Oh, what a shame. 
Oh, hello. Hi. Husband is home. I thought he's a through Hi, Aussie group work. Oh, don't you hate when you miss a highway on ramp and then the next one's way too far away? Uh, especially down there. Oh, you took the wrong turn. No, I just I double questioned myself and then I realised I needed Corumban. Now, the next one after Corumban's bloody Talabudra, Eleonora. Mm. Oh, we're going to look at a house tomorrow. Where? Where are we going, Talabudra? No. no, we're not. Don't worry. <laughs> Where are we going? Benogan. Benogan. Oh, oh Benogan's my drink town. Oh, we're not going there then. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> you already moved three streets away. That's why we're moving. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Three streets is way too far. <laughs> oh, so you want to move next it's door? Not far enough. Yeah, he moving closer, create a door in our back fence, borrow some brown sugar whenever you want, you know, happy days. <laughs> <laughs> that way, you know, it, 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 it works for Jody and Ash too. They just need to cook one dinner because we don't eat so much. So, you know, it's all about sharing. That's true. <laughs> Like them oh. Well, they're my daily apples because you sound just like Ash. <laughs> I knew I liked that girl for a reason. Yeah. Because she makes good babies. She oh. makes good babies. I think that's why Jody likes her, but okay. Oh, okay. So Jody doesn't like looking after Evie. Oh. See? Good, yep. good babies. I didn't mean that Jodie has to make the babies. She just likes likes my babies. Oh. <laughs> this is really yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Um, I like that. I like that girl. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? Um. Oh, talking about Lego, I found another way, Bill. A, a third way now to side mount. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Paco. Paco showed me a, another different, more stronger way. A lot more. Stuffing around, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sold on the idea. I really like it, eh? Like, I like the effect, but the way he's done, I think it's just I'm gonna have to use another extra 500 bricks, but I think it will work. I'll have to come check it out. Yeah, everyone's gone quiet. Oh, yeah. um. I was going to say, uh, just reading through the chat, Starlight Living mm. says, have minifigure sized dinosaur, dino, dinosaurs, dino heads on minifigs. That would give you more compact options. Um, I, don't you don't I don't think there's a way to do that without like. Um... Sticky tape. <laughs> okay, um, like most of the dinosaurs, hang on. Uh, I should have one. You know, you know, like Christmas, what you could do is, is go for like the, the other, like another holiday, Halloween or, you know what I mean? Yeah, or I could do do like seasons, I guess. Um, yeah. So like, okay, this dinosaur, um, the head has a pin in it. So I don't know, maybe, yeah, you could. The hole looks like about the same size. Let me grab a minifig and just see. We've got a minifig. So we're easy to grab. Okay, time to D-head, not D-body. Jeez, Louise. Just trying to take your head off your stupid minifigure. <sighs> Don't pull the card off your head. Oh, wow, Darkseid's poster just moved. Oh. Oh. oh, wait, it's not a poster. It's him as a webcam not doing nothing. Oh. Ah! <laughs> well, the Raptors are the right size. I mean, it's an oversized head, but it fits. On a minifigure's neck. So that could be an option, I guess. Oh, you know, it was funny. I was watching the designer today of the um, T-Rex. Mm. They've got a video online. And yeah. 
he's they're talking literally within the first two or three sentences. He's like, this this T Rex is definitely out of scale. It's too large for a minifig scale, but we need it. And I'm like, oh man, copy paste to send the kale. Kale, <laughs> <laughs> It was so it was just it was so funny that like you know it's come out at this perfect time, and that was the first thing that he mentioned. I'm pretty sure that somebody may have hashtagged kale fail on that. <sighs> no, they hashtag kale fail on his life. Okay, okay. Um, all right. God, your truck is so loud. Stop muting. I've got, head I've got headphones on. You guys are nice and quiet. I like it. <laughs> you live it, you bugger. live it. the universe. Okay, um, what else have we got? Um, rapturing all the presents. Oh, that must be my Santa thing. Rapturing all oh. the um, where are we? Uh, Darkside says theme park where all the rides are dinosaur based, brick built dinosaur cars on the roller coaster instead of a UFO ride, dinosaur ride, friends chair, chain chair ride with dinosaur chairs, etc. etc. Yeah, that's a good idea. Use actual dinosaurs as statues around each ride, have any rocky. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, you can just rebuild Dino Park in a small scale. Um, those are very good ideas, Dark Side. Thank you. I couldn't get a word in edgewise anyway, so. Oh, oh, um, you know, uh, what's the name of the TV show? Um, I don't know. Um, 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 um dinosaurs. The one where he goes in into the future. Into the Seinfeld. Futurama. Uh, that's it. Futurama. Futurama. They have a little, little like a, a petting zoo. In a park. Yeah. With a T Rex going around. Yeah. You could do yeah. that in the small I know, scale. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I have plenty of T Rexes. Uh, what else we got going on? Johnny G's here. He says, Where's Darren? Darren's not here. <laughs> um, dinosaur themed theme park. <laughs> yes. Um, Oh, Jason said raptors head fit on a minifig body. Yes, yes. And I do actually have a few, fair few raptors, so that is an option. Hmm. Um, where have we got? Larry the barista raptor. So I suppose, you know, if I, I've lost the pin now. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. I have like 10 million pins somewhere, but do you think I can find the pin that I took out of this lost raptor? No. It's, it's worse when it's colder too. Huh. Anyway, um, ah, oh, Starlight Lemming says love it with a spear. Yeah, it looks really good, actually. Um, I'm uh, that that is a concept I will I will explore. Uh, Ryan Master says plus one for Dinosaur Park 2.0. I do plan to do Dinosaur Park 2.0, but um, I just want to have a couple of small things in the meantime, and maybe give them as a you know something. To um, Starlight Lemming says Microscale is definitely more portable How does one build a microscale dinosaur Could be fun Yeah it, it has been done um, If you look on Flickr Somebody did a microscale Jurassic Park Like um, Parts of the you know, Iconic things from the movie Which was pretty cool Um <laughs> I'm just turning Billsy down because he's hit, he's loud, loud loud truck. Um, That's okay. I'll, I'll just scream when I want to talk. Okay, all good. Uh, and then I'll turn you off when I feel that like listing. Uh, Planet of the Snapes, a post Potter world with a giant Harry Potter statue on the beach, surrounded by Finis Professor Snapes. Boring. <laughs> Uh, dinosaurs are so Jurassic. You, you need to do what the cool cat kids are into. What are the cool kids into, Douglas? You, you know what you could do. What you could, could you you could is your is your dad displaying the construction stuff? Yes, for brick mansion. Yes. Join, join it. Do like a mad T Rex construction crew type collaboration thing. Just really shake it up. That'd be cool. 
That'd be cool. Yeah, that is an option. Um, like, you know, the, the dinosaurs are controlling the construction vehicles. If they fit to size and you can work around it. Yeah, of course. Um, Darkseid says, do a vision of something amazing that you wouldn't expect to find under a box flap. Did you say Darkseid said that? Uh, yeah. Billsy, but, do, you, do you know what the, the, the reference is to box flaps? Yeah, no, no, hold on. Did you say so Darkseid's chatting by a text, but he's not coming on the camera? He's on the camera. He why don't you just camera? why don't you talk up? Because I can't get a word in edgewise. So oh. chat. I don't oh. have other people like some other people. Come on, you got you got to get in there, man. No, mate, I'm not like that. Okay, but yeah, um, <laughs> I, I I I like your humour, Philip. I like you here. So, what what wouldn't I expect to find under a box lap? Oh God, I only really know. <laughs> <laughs> Your box lap you keep talking about. Yeah, uh, and I, and I know Billsy never watches me, so he won't probably doesn't even know what. Box lap <laughs> you know what? Even if I get people's jokes, when I convert it to what I want it to be, it's even funnier. <laughs> Oh, and that's probably exactly where the joke is. So, uh, for anyone who missed the story, and I'm looking at you, Billy. Um, mm -hmm. When I was at Dreamworld, and you're only human. When all, when, when all the seagulls were getting things out of boxes from pick for pick a brick wall stock stock at Dreamworld. Oh yeah. Uh, so I'd scoop it all out, but there'd always be something underneath the bottom of the cardboard box flap. Oh yeah. And of course, the first time I mentioned this, I was like, I, I was just going to say under under the flaps, and then I said under the box flaps, not realizing that that made the comment worse. <laughs> so how how often do you find Lego mm. under your box flaps? Oh, mm. all the time. I hate when it happens. <laughs> I know it's so uncomfortable. Oh my god. Yeah, same with me. It cuts my lip. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, now we've reached the gutter. Uh, I'm pretty sure Billsy is cleaning a gutter, aren't she? Yeah, I'm cruising. I'm doing about seven k's an hour. Oh sweet. <laughs> oh, what else have we got? Uh, Bilsa, you, Bilsa, you can say you can say your suggestion on the stream. Me? Yeah, you said. You said, mm, mm, mm. hang on, I don't remember. Dinosaur wedding. Dinosaur wedding. Yeah, that would be interesting. That's actually really freaking cool. I know, I said it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It'd be cool if they had like a pin in their head so that you could put like um, decorations on them. Can Very you nice. make me a dinosaur and I'd be the wedding crasher? Tommy. Oh, mm. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine a dino Billsy. What? What sort of? Uh, what sort of dinosaur? There, there, there it is. It's called the Billsysaurus. Billsysaurus. Oh, you Bilzy. can make the kale fallosaurus. No, no, it's not suitable for children. <laughs> <laughs> and if I was a dinosaur, you know what? You know what? You know, you know what I'd look like. Do you remember that um, TV show, Dinosaurs? Yeah. Yes. Like the baby. Ah, the baby got Not the mama. What you'd have to do yep. for a twelve one is have a T Rex. Have a T Rex with a pair of oversized pants crying because he can't get his hands down his pants. <laughs> oh. oh no. Gold. Can you find it? It's in there somewhere, Jody. No. Oh, uh, where are we? I'm not sure if it is in here. That's the problem. Dinosaurs cobwebs. Um Ryan Master says the aquarium is looking awesome. Indeed, he is. Oh, fuck. Oh. Every time you look up, Bill, it's like you're looking through like a target, you know, like on top of like a big machine gun. <laughs> like, 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 like the uh, scope. Yeah. That is cool. And it's motorized. Yay. Yeah, the the other the, this is only half of the tank. The other half has motorized components as well. 
Mate, you got you got to be motorized to attract the kids these days. Well, apparently, or or Minecraft, or no, not what's what's the latest Fortnite. Ah, uh, Douglas has suggested a scene with a T Rex trying to catch a bouquet. Oh! Oh! oh, with the little, with the little. Oh, <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. That is that is hilarious. Well, maybe maybe you could do like like um like scenes like everyday scenes of things that happen in life. So like, you know, on the toilet. Weddings, um, what else? Going to like having a job. Um. Yeah, like Phil said, domesticated dinosaurs. Yeah, that's what I know. But I'd probably start with like little small vignettes and then build it into something that's more of a pre presentation piece. I love a vignette. Vignette. Uh, Vigorette. Or, uh, or as Jody calls them, vinegars. Vinegars. Yeah. Vinegar. They used to annoy the shit out of Bill, so I'd call them that all the time. Hmm. Or in Mum's case, habitats. Habitats? Mm, yeah. I've done habitats before. I, I like habitats. I have, have, a tab. A tab. I have a few tats. <laughs> Habitat. Uh, what have we got? Uh, Starlight Lemming says, I hate people who use lights and their builds. My classic stuff looks dull by comparison. Totally jealous. Well, then get some lights. Yeah, yeah man. Lights are awesome. And they're cheap now. I use lights. Yeah, just, you know, hook up with a mate that knows more about lights than you. Be friends with Billsy. He'll tell you everything. No, I tried to hook up with a mate that knew more about Lego than me, and I learnt nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fault, Billsy. Yeah, it was. The one time I don't have this show as hashtag Team Billsy hashtag Lego Masters, and you turn up. Well, that's obviously, you know, you, I've got to be like, I've got to be relevant. I, I can't let you milk me for nothing. Oh my god! Oh. Don't. No, oh. Stop. Hashtag Team Billsy. Hashtag Milking. Hey, you t you told me to do it. Wait, Are you sure? Somebody think of the children. Somebody think of the children. Yeah. You should be hashtagging every one of them, all their names, all the uh, teams. We only get three. YouTube only oh, gives okay. three that actually show up as as um clickable link. Oh yeah. You can tag other things, but it just won't won't do you any good. It just sits in the tags. <laughs> yes, yes. I I have an electrician friend. Petty lives on the other side of the country. It'd be handy to have somebody who's handy with um electrics to you know show me what to do and do it properly. What for lights? Yes, for lights. No, you, you literally buy LED pack, and it's all just. 20 bucks, it's all there. It goes to a little battery pack or USB. You can get either one. And you just, it's like 60 centimeter length LEDs, you just wire them through your bricks. Like, there's yeah. no joining, there's no soldering. It's all, it's all done for you. It's easy. It's very easy. Yes, mum. Yeah. It is. You, sh you should do it. And then you should put lights in the mouths of all your dinosaurs. And when they roar, they roar light. Oh, that, you're thinking of Godzilla. No. Thinking of your dinosaurs that roaring lights, just like sharks that shoot laser beams. It's natural. Oh. Laser beams. Sharks with laser beams. Yeah, that could work. You know what you could actually would I don't know if you could work it out, but have um superhero dinosaurs do superhero vignettes, like scenes from different superhero movies, but replace the minifigs with dinosaurs. Hmm. People that can relate. Ability. Dawn does have a collection of some um, superhero minifigs. That that is a doable thing. You'd need a big phone booth for Super Dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, what's it? Diggler says a dinosaur photocopying its butt. Uh, I do, I do like the concept of like everyday everyday dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs doing people things. Do it. 
didn't Domesticate the dinosaurs. Domesticate. Still Bill. Still Bill's idea. <laughs> Still, Bill's idea. He he put it out there. I asked. He gave. There's so much uh, you can do with it. You could incorporate a lot of the ideas people have shot out there. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll, the I'll, I'll be busy going back through this live chat for ideas. Um, I did see some cool things. Like I've seen people use dinosaurs to like um to like um what do you call it? Be instead of like horses or mounts. So. Like you know, carrying a cart, like a horse and cart type thing, but it's a dinosaur. I've seen a few different ways of that being done, um, but obviously you have to put it in a scene. So that that's probably an option too. But yeah, I'm I'm kind of liking the everyday dinosaurs idea. I'll I'll have a thought about think about how I can um, expand on that. Jurassic Hobbit. Jurassic Hobbit. Is that your suggestion? Replace all the horses with dinosaurs. Yeah. You know what you could do? Jurassic Wars. Do Star Wars with with dinosaurs. Ooh. Ooh. The one thing I decided not to mention. That's <laughs> <laughs> you. Make a giant dinosaur out of dinosaurs. That's cool. Isn't that a new set? I don't know how I'd make that work, though. If well, you, you, you like somehow work the way that they could connect to each other, you know, either by jamming its tail in another mouth or wrapping its leg, or you know what I mean. But if you could, if you could do a shape of a dinosaur out of all the dinosaurs, that would actually be like an awesome sculpture. Yeah. It'd also be a grenade, though. It wouldn't be very strong. No, no, it wouldn't have very many um, attachment points, which is suck. Yeah. But. Yeah, cool. Oh, I'm, I'm getting lots of lots of good ideas. I just got to actually pull my finger out and do something. Yeah, can't really own your lazy shit. <laughs> you can talk, Mister. I, I I recall a TV show where where you know you, you didn't have a single idea of your own ever. Best part was I actually did. Explain yourself. Kale, he knew what he wanted every build, so that's why he looked like the way he did. But it was my fault because I let him take the fall. Oh, dear. That's what his argument was about today. Mm. <laughs> Ryan Masters says, ask hey, Kale what to build. Anyway, kale oh. is something oversized. Kale scale. He's building an oversized robot at the moment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Oh, my goodness. Dougal says a Star Wars piss take. Dinosaur talking to a chicken saying, I am your father, with a chicken screaming no. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Don't ask. You know what, Just... you know what you would actually be cool, right, going back to the Star Wars and, and dinosaurs things? So yeah. take, for instance, the trench run, right? You know, it's obviously the, the, the ships flying through heavy greeble and grey and steel and all that. Mm -hmm. Do it like dinosaur, a dinosaur take on it. So, it's you know, pterodactyls flying through jungles or, you know what I mean? Still keep it very native and dinosaur, but you're mimicking what, is already like either not even Star Wars, just like from pop culture references. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lots of ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many ideas. You know, if you're religious, you could do like mm -hmm. the Last Supper, a big table full of dinosaurs eating. Oh, that could be cool. Not that I'm religious, but I'm no, aware. But, of the... Yeah, but you, you get what I mean. Like, try find scenes that everyone will pick really quick. Hmm. But just doing it in dinosaur, very heavy dinosaur theme. Cool. I like it. You know, you put a dinosaur behind a desk and, you know, you're just mimicking yourself. Yeah. Put a blue shirt on one. <laughs> blue shirt on one. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The dinosaur mm -hmm. construction idea is good. Dinosaurs, T-Rexing, ball, etc. Yeah, that could work. You're welcome. 
<laughs> You're welcome, my my job here is done. Uh, I hope we finish my train station. Train station? Yeah, I'm building a Wild West train station, but it's all sideways stud built and it's uh, driving me nuts. Oh, but you have no technique. No, actually, uh, Joe, well, I, I built it, I built two walls like to test how it was, but it's just too, I was running into so many problems to go sideways stud to mount to the base plate. And then Joe found a really awesome way to do it last night. Um, and I started building like that. And then today I found another one, which is even better again. So I was like, oh, I get so far and pull it all down to start again. I almost gave up and just, just brick build it normally. And I'm like, you know, I want it to be a little bit different. But if it turns out, it'll look awesome. If it doesn't turn out, it looks like I should go back to Duplo. Huh. Yeah, I thought Duplo was more your speed, isn't it? Well, Duplo you doesn't got... get stuck when you sit on it, so, you know, it's good. <laughs> but you've got a baby. You should be at least up to Quattro soon. She ain't getting no Lego. What? No, because then when she comes of age and she knows what Lego's like, we're going to be arguing who's is who. Not going to happen, mate. She, oh, she can have funny. she can have Barbie. You, you keep it. playing with your house. No, you do what I did. Right. You you buy them all the Lego they want. And you just sit and wait until they become teenagers and have no interest anymore, and then you claw that shit back. Yeah, but no one wants friend sets. Oh, that's right. You had a girl. Mm -hmm. But you get you get her interested in creator. Mm. I can get her interested in sports cars. Buy her a car early. <laughs> I, I have a question for you, um, Bilzy. Do you feel like you're out of your depth? That your um, aspirations are not meeting with your um, technical skill? Oh, for the train station. Yes. Yeah. No. You got to push yourself. Otherwise, it's going to be boring and shit. Nothing, nothing's impossible. I'll get it yeah. done. I know what I want. I just don't know how to get there. Well, isn't that everyone's conundrum? Well, that's that's exactly right. You, you'll get there. Yeah, I'll get there. I just need to get there within three weeks. That's the only problem. That is a big problem. Well, the good part about it is I've got, I, I've got enough bricks to literally sit at home and, and burn. I did a massive, massive brick link order, just over-ordered everything. So... Mm -hmm. Parts wise, I'm I'm sweet. So I, I have I have the parts there to burn to try all the different way. As soon as I get one corner done, it'll be up in no time. I just I need to work out how to nail this corner so it's solid and I can. Yeah. The thing is, I can build yeah, it the first way I built it. No, well, I can build it. I did build it sideways and it was all sweet. But the second you move it, it falls apart. Mm. You can't like. There's no way to physically brace it without making it look ugly with you know. Tiles sticking out, or have you, have you tried looking for technique ideas on like um Euro bricks? No, no, well, the, the idea I've got now is actually rock solid, so I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna okay. yeah, I'm gonna go with that, but then I've got to be careful too because my there's gonna be movement and the way it's braced, it's like um lattice worked in the middle of it, and I'm just I'm worried now that the technique beams for my movement. I interrupt with the lattice work for the structure. So it's like uh, one speed up and then there's the next one. How did you already learn that lattice is not necessarily a good idea? Well, for what I'm building, it's actually perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm it's, just it's, it's starring Bill Z. It's my job. Well, no one's going to walk on my train station, mate. Oh, but Kale might walk on it. Oh, I'm going to walk on whatever he builds at prevention. <laughs> Oh, it's got to be a smack down in Melbourne. Yeah. Well, I, I, in, in, my, in my messages to him, um, amongst all of our uh, banter, you could call it, I said to him, can't wait to see you on the 7th, smiley face. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so nice to him, shake his hand, you know, take selfies with him. Kill him with kindness. Oh, mate. You don't understand. It's going to be worse. It's going to be like killing with kindness and banter and talk him up and give him a big head, make him feel like a real Lego master. Oh, I think I just threw up in my mouth. 
Don't go too far. He doesn't know I'm emceeing the event yet, though. <laughs> well, he does now. You just told everyone on YouTube. <laughs> he's he's not going to watch you. He you don't go down. Mm. You don't you don't bow down to him. There's no way he's watching this stream. Billzy, I, I I have at least one or two people who are, cool. are snitches. I'm pretty sure that thumbs down my my Friday streams because it's always said Lego Masters Australia and Team Billzy on it. Um, oh, of course, you're gonna you're gonna get hate, but no one's gonna watch it. None of his mates. Oh, you'd be surprised. You mean to try to tell me that he's got mates? You're funny. He has little fanboys. Well, he actually he actually left a comment today on, and I felt really bad for this other guy. So someone, I can't remember what the comment was, left a comment on one of his pages, and his reply was, oh, is this one of your fake accounts, Billsy? Nice try, idiot, and went full off at him. And oh. I'm like, I went straight back. I'm like, mate. You don't know me clearly. I ain't gonna hide. No, I don't need fake don't. accounts. <laughs> but I felt bad for the like. The, it was a, like it was a genuine comment from someone else, and he's like, "Yeah, nice fake comment or nice fake account, Billsy." I'm like, "Oh, mate, mate." Well, I can hide behind a fake account. Yeah, I don't. Come on, you guys know me more than anyone. Why would I hide? Somebody in the live chat just said, "Oh, I just texted Kale to tell him." Cool. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Tell him to text Kale and ask why did he make Billsy look so bad? Why, why, why did he throw the, the, the final competition that, that you guys could have gotten into the finale with? And ask him how did he make that big spike at the front of his hair? Did he use gel? Ooh. Oh, that's a bit low, even for you. That's Has he seen something about Mary? Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Don't don't make me mute you, Billsy. Hey, if I wanted to go low, we could talk about Lego ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know how well that wins. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. Kind of like the way Lego Masters went. Wah, wah, wah. So how's Henry's um, Lego ideas thing going? I don't know. I haven't looked. It was at a thousand or something, almost a thousand, when I looked the other week. Yeah, I I, I, I backed it pretty early. I think it was number thirty-one. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's so. My Wild West train station's going on his town. Cool. Yeah, that's why I'm building it for. That's why you've got to build it so it actually doesn't look like a piece of crap. That's exactly right. So I can't copy any of your builds. <laughs> <laughs> See, people don't realise, people, when I start shit talking to people, they're like, what are you attacking me for? It's like, nah, mate. Anyone that says hello to me, I'll attack. This girl doesn't matter if you're a friend, doesn't matter if you're a friend, doesn't matter if you're somebody I've never met. I'll shit talk anyone. Even Evie. You should hear what I tell Evie. Oh my god. Oh. She's gonna be the worst foul mouth kid, I swear. I can't help it, but actually no, I'll take that back. I know someone else that's more foul mouth than anyone I've ever met. Yes. No, 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 just I just yeah. Don't leave us hanging. Oh, I have to leave you hanging. Ah. Oh. Like, you don't. You don't know this person. It's all right. But I just every second, every every second word was F, F, and then doubled up on the F. Mm -hmm. It was like, yeah, it was it was just extraordinary to listen to. Like you know when some people talk and the swear word literally just becomes part of like, like it's just an adjective. It's, it's a verb. It's a noun. Yeah, and it's like, man, it just doesn't sound normal or right. Mm. And then every time I swear now, it like makes me think, oh, crap, do I sound like that? Yeah, yeah, you do. I hope not. I hope not. I swear, I swear a little bit, but not, not, I don't swear. Actually, no, I don't swear that much. You're sure mm, about mm, that? Mm, 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 mm. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I swear much. No, you don't. I don't know. In everyday situations, you don't. Nah. 
Uh, that's a good question. How many times did they have to bleep people out in Lego Masters because they accidentally let one rip? Um, there was a lot. No, actually, I heard the word shit said a few times actually on TV. Yeah, I actually, they, shit as a swear word. Yeah, but I mean, it was a kid. Yeah, I, mean, I suppose in time, time wise, it's yeah. No, there was a lot of swearing, man. People, yeah, you get frustrated. Everyone was swearing. <laughs> it happens. I'm sure you swore at your Lego before. Never. If you're going to allow dilf, though, you can allow shit on that show. Yeah. 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 That <laughs> is correct. Correct. Here's a question for you. He, his eyes, so you, you can't really tell, but here's, a, here's, here's someone asked me a question today. I thought it was quite interesting. Um, going by what you've seen on the TV, yes. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think that the eliminations were in correct order? No. Why? What? <laughs> Were they aired in the correct order, or do you think that people went in order? That yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you know, do you think do you think the girls what they built, what you've seen, could have went should have went further compared? You know what I mean? Yeah. Not, 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 not did they not did the people get eliminated for the wrong build? Because yeah, you know, you thought that build was better than the other one, whatever. But like overall, as build quality and builders, mm. do you think the 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 rough you know the order was roughly correct? No, but that's my opinion. Who do you think should have went? Like who? Who do you think should have went first? Like obviously Henry and Cade. Even you can argue to the Stone Cold They were the best by far. You couldn't beat. Yeah, them. Henry they, and they Cade were was going to be favourites. They were my pick to win, yeah. and I was right. Sorry. They really, really should have done love the way around. It should have been Henry and Bilzy. Yeah, that would have made some sense because you guys are really yeah. close to each other. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, it it's, is what it is. Yeah, um, but, I mean, the Wild West will be Henry and Billsy, so that's all right. Okay, okay, so um, Ryan Master says, I think Caitlin, um, and what's the other girl's name? Caitlin. Marielle. Marielle should have stayed longer, and I do agree. I, I, I agree. They should not have gone out in the first first uh, elimination. I think it should have been the grandma and the grandson. Okay. Would be my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fair call. Yeah, um, they were a very one-sided team. Yes, but an only one-sided team. Mm, that sounds Ra familiar. Grandma looked like she was massively uh, out of her depth. <laughs> the yeah, shoot. Yeah, I, I get. Uh, yeah, I mean, I it's can't like really she talk. Tried. She tried, and like you could see that she improved, but still. It was clear to me that she was definitely not a Lego person at all. Yeah. Um, not even slightly. I but she tried. And, you know, kudos to her for trying. I mean, you know, she's more brave than me because I, I didn't even audition for last, you know, last year's filming, blah, blah, blah. So. I got I got a message um, from one of the End of All Shine people this week um, yeah. ask, asking me to forward them any women a foals yeah they've already been chasing me <laughs> multiple times it's funny they're only looking for women though mm. well they're saying they're wanting more female representation on the show maybe maybe they're trying to make females win this year i don't know Wouldn't would put a pass <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a half valley comment or, or at least a team with a with a female on the team, mm. or maybe all the yeah. teams are going to be like male, female, or female, female. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I still, Bill, I still and, can't, Bill I still... and Joe, do you put your application in yet? No chance. Why not? You scared Joe's going to make you look bad. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, Primal Gaming said the girls had amazing visual style and color use. Yes, I would agree there. I, I love their style. Yeah. Uh, but who thinks that I should apply? Am I mad if I want to? 
I hate crickets. <laughs> I think you should. Just do it. I probably won't get anywhere with it. But... Just do it. Just do the it. Bills, the Billsy thought that. <laughs> Question is, is who should I apply with? Me. Are you going to start being away from home for that long? It would be hard. Um, I know. I know. One of the questions that I asked Henry when the, like oh, um, there was a Q and A on on a page somewhere, and one of the questions I asked was like, how did you actually um, deal with the whole being away from home thing? And um, he said that FaceTime, you know, video conferencing was a big thing every yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. Because his kids are quite young. Whereas he, got, my kids he got special. Probably, he got he got special uh, privileges though. Henry did. Ah, okay. Because his baby was so young, he he got to go home a few times. Ah, uh, that would have been yeah. a lot better. Yeah, we only we everyone else only got to go home once. Hmm. But think about it, just look at it from the flip side of, of things. Yay, holiday away from Sean. Woo! <laughs> holiday. Well, that, that, that's what Perth's going to be, Bill. Oh, fair enough. I did not mean it the way that it sounds. Sorry. In the other uh, way. I hope he's not watching. Of course he's watching. It's, 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 it's I'll, so I'll, know, I'll know in a few seconds if he, if he comes through the door and gives me a look. Um. Okay, what do we got? Um... Ryan says, yeah. Primal Gaming says, if you can get the time off work, go nuts. Yeah, well, that is an issue, obviously. Um, Starlight Lemming says, don't do it. It's not a great experience, I reckon. Well. It's a freaking amazing oh, experience. Okay, you've got somebody here that, that was actually on the show, okay? Uh, other than your experience with, with being paired with somebody who's obviously incompatible with you, the rest that, of it was fine, wasn't it? Not even that. Not, not even that phased me. Okay. It's, it's not for everyone. I don't believe it's right for everyone. No, of course. Like you, you know, you're a very out there character, Billsy, and yeah, you know, there's a like a lot of qualities that you have gained in your experience in radio and everything else. That mm. Yeah, I think it's easier for you, but right. I just well, I just don't space was for radio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you if you're you know, they're, they're, you got to think too. Like on that argument. There's a lot of great Lego builders that are very closet personalities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree with that. For sure. For sure. They don't get out much. They just sit in their house and... I mean, at the same time, there's a, there was a lot of builders that I met that should be still in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be, it'll be interesting to see who they, they pick for the second season. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you got you got to give them credit. They flute a great like range yeah people. yeah i i think they did really well with you know picking different sorts of stories and stuff although i must admit like it's, it's one of those those stories where you know people annoy you and then they redeem themselves and grow and you know uh, was it maddie and jimmy jimmy maddie and jimmy like oh they they, they made me cringe hmm. in the beginning like seriously cringe um, and it was like watching the UK couple that were just all ridiculously lovey dovey. And like, I can understand, you know, if you're newlyweds, it's going to be cringe. But um, their, their, their level of skill was like not magnificent at the beginning. And it obviously grew. And, you know, their, their skill was starting to match up with their aspirations, as they said. Oh, for sure. And, 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 you know, it's, like, like I tell everyone, there was no fake editing. That's how they are. That was them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've I've seen them on other media. Like they have their own YouTube too. Um, do you remember what, what the name of it is? The YouTube channel is Maddie and Jimmy or Jimmy and Maddie or something, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Um, they've got a channel that looks like it's more aimed at like kids, but you know, still entertaining for adults. Um, it's a good channel. They've done. They've done well. Yeah, yeah. So do, so do we think they're going to extend the show next year instead of just having nine episodes in Maybe. three weeks? Do well, look at New longer? Zealand. New Zealand only got to see it once a week. Yeah. For the nine weeks. got pretty good hype. Well, they only just finished last week. Hmm. 
Because every every night I was looking at the ratings every um, night from the show, and their ratings were just ridiculously through the roof. Oh, they were killing it. And especially Sunday nights were their highest, the highest yeah, rating. Twelve episodes the next year would be cool. You've mm. got to think though as well. Like as awesome as it is, and as much as we're going to yeah. love it. It's still building Lego at the end of the day. And, you know, if you go for, say, 15 or 20 episodes, it's going to get boring. It just will. So you got to I know, I know a, lot, a lot of people got to a point, they said, oh, it's stupid having it on Tuesdays and stupid having it on Mondays. Why couldn't it have been just every Sunday or something? Yeah, I think New Zealand copped it every Wednesday night. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Um, It'd be, you know, what would be interesting to see how the Americans do it. Yeah, yeah, that that will be interesting to see how the Americans do it. Because mm. like, you know, will they, they will they will they copy Australia or will they copy the UK or do a hybrid? I guess we'll find out. That's the question. Yeah. Hey, Darkside, would you ever apply to go on Lego Masters? No, no. He's like, you couldn't pay me. No way in hell. Even, Man, even if they really, gave you a million dollars. They had a show called Lego Noobs. I'd be right there up front of all that. <laughs> oh, we're a better builder than me, Dark Sign. Seriously. Lego, Lego Noobs. Ooh, oh, I thought you said Lego Noobs. I had a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> noobs. N-O-O-B. Yeah, I got um, it the second time. But, yeah, I, I guess this is the thing that um, people need to remember is that this is a reality television show. They are looking for stories. They are looking yeah. for entertaining. They are looking for a little bit of skill, but it can be picked up, as shown by now, the people that clearly had no skill at the beginning. Now, what would the show be if it was Billsy and um, Joe? That would have been interesting to find out. Yeah, see that that would have been. Yeah, yeah I thought I thought about that myself. That would have made yeah. things very, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think it would have. My my question is: Is would Kayla have been on the show if Joe had been able to? No. So I was told by an actual producer that Kayla was standby. <gasps> oh. Oh. So he should be thanking me for getting on at all. Yeah. True. Well, thank you, Joe, um, really. Okay, what have we got? Um, got some questions I, in the live chat. I think, I think it. Bill Froze. <laughs> Bill Froze. Bill Froze. Bill Froze. Uh, Bill's fine. <laughs> um, okay, we got a question in the live chat. Ryan Masters asked, Dark Side, what's the largest model you've ever built? Star Wars. <laughs> uh, my Star Wars table, I guess. Six foot by six even foot. I, even I knew that one. Yeah, Adam, sh let let him talk. <laughs> Don't be rude. But that's not a model. That's that's a different thing altogether. It's a diorama. Okay. The so, largest model would be probably the Death Star or the Tanny Four. Cool. Or any of the UCS ones that I've built, I guess. Cool. But I do, I do like your Tatooine. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I, I um, I thought about breaking it down earlier today, but then my um, my conscience, i.e., Melanie, said no, not going to happen. So <laughs> 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 too much, too much work and effort in it, man. Yeah, it can go back in the travel box if if I do any other. The events that can come out of those. It's different enough to other Star Wars displays. Everyone else does Hoth. No one does Tatooine. So. Yeah, what is that? Why did Empire people... Strikes Back the um, the most popular of the Star Wars movies? Okay. That's why Hoth gets done all the time. Ah. And also, it has cool things in it. Yeah, well, there is that too. <laughs> Primal Gaming says, I've been told by, by by my wife to never disassemble or sell my UCS Falcon. That's all right. I don't even own one. So that's <laughs> that right. makes sense. 
Yeah, it does. Okay. Ah, Starlight Lemming says, I don't think American hosts would be as kind. Depends who they got. Yes, it does. It depends on, on how they choose to approach it as well. I, I am yeah. interested to see what the Americans do because, um, yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Ryan says, Sheree, you have heaps of green, right? Do do the dagger bar. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Planet. I yeah, probably bar. could. Yeah, just go to Swamp Planet out of Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, when we are in Japan, I was asking Bill and um, Joe what would be the best, um, if there was any one Star Wars to watch just to get it all. Yeah, at least a rough, good angle on it. What was the one to watch? Yeah, they they didn't, they could give me an answer. Yeah, we did. No, you didn't. You kept both saying two different ones. <laughs> okay, I've got another question in the live chat. Starlight Lemming asks, "I'm curious if they pay you a wage while you're on the show, or if you have to risk everything." Pay you a wage, ninety bucks a day. Is that during only during filming? No, nah, every day. Every day, seven days every a week. Every day until you get eliminated. Ah, that's good to know. It's not tax free. Money, is it? For some people, it's not enough. For, for people who are on minimum enough. wage, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, tax free as well because it's a living allowance. It's not a wage. Oh. But if I didn't have leave for work, I would have struggled big time. Yeah. Ninety bucks a day. That's 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 what Joe eats at lunch. <laughs> oh, oh no! It actually is. Yeah, because it's true. Sad but true. Your cameras, your, I don't know if it's on anyone else, but your camera's stuff's on my end, Bill. Mine? Yeah, you're all black. Yeah, you're just special, Billsy. Maybe. <coughs> I think I'm good. Oh, okay, no, he's back. Mm. Starlight Lemming says, that's really good to know. Thanks, Billsy. So good. I'm now guessing apply. that anyone who's unemployed, pff, go for it, buddy. Yeah, well, everything's, you know, all your meals are all paid for and supplied. They give you groceries. They look after you. That's cool. You're starting to sell me on this. <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day, you just got to, you just got to, you know, realize it's going to take a chunk out of your life. Mm. And, and you know, you got no control on what happens once it comes to air. If mm. you can deal, if you can deal with that, do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, my thoughts are is that, um, like I told you and Joe, is like, you know, if, if you don't try, you, you can't succeed. Uh, the good thing about the auditioning process is that you can pull out at any point. Yeah, and if you don't try, you're going to kick yourself if you half wanted to. Yeah, exactly. And I know there are people that have gone through the audition process that had to pull out for one reason or another. But um, you know their their partner partners have still been able to be considered. Yeah. So, although this year they've got singles, I I don't want to audition as a single. They had singles at the end towards the end of last year. Mm, I know, I know. They yeah. tried to pull me in for auditions um at the last minute, like a couple of days before. It was too short notice for me. Otherwise, after hearing how cool it was for you guys, I totally would have gone. Well. Sicky. <laughs> Told you to. Oh, I don't chuck sickies. I, don't, I barely have sick days. I have heaps. You can buy some of mine off me. <sighs> I've got heaps of sick days. I just don't take them. That's my problem. Yeah. Um. Okay. Primal Gaming has a question. I'd be curious to know if they'd. Take on people that didn't make it in season one this time through. Well, you just got to look at anything that's um, um, reality TV. You do get people where their story is, oh, this person has been trying to be on blah, 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 reality television show for this long, and finally, finally, they're good enough. And they, they after, you know, we got lucky being the first season, it was kind of, they not winged it, but they kind of, you know, left the open format. They're going to know exactly who and what they want now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. After the success, too, they're going to probably pump more money and more advertising into it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see how season two pans out. Um, ha- Hamish Blake will become a multi, multi, multi millionaire now. <laughs> Oh, what a problem to have! I want to have a problem like that. They, they, they need to uh, um, hire Billsy. I reckon he would be a better host. Hey, I'll be their fluffer. Oh, I'll do whatever. I'd, I'd, I'd die to get back. I loved it. <laughs> what the heck? Oh dear. When did this turn into the Billsy show? Every time he comes on. You should know this by now. Yeah, well, this is Ollie Brick Chicks and Friends. I guess you're my friend, right? Don't don't guess that wrong. Diggle's cousin got knocked from The Biggest Loser because he wasn't fat enough. I made it to The Biggest Loser. You applied to The Biggest Loser. No, I made it through and gave up. You made it through and gave up. Yep, like I made it to the top 20, top 30, and then pulled the pin. I missed that last bit. I made it to the top, the top thirty cult. Like the, you know, they, they only picked twelve in the end. I think it is whatever it is. Yeah. Or tw- yeah. I made it to like the top thirty before you went out. The final cut. Wow. But I pulled the pin. You pulled the pin. Pulled the pin, and then got fatter. <laughs> oh. So you know, it was a very poor life choice. Yeah. Oh well, you got there. And that was the year. Maggie, Maggie one, Maggie. You know the the one from Brisbane, the lady from Brisbane. Didn't really watch that show. Oh yeah, mm. and now I'm really good mates with her. Oh cool. Yeah, she did well. Win win. Win win. So I suppose the question is, what you going to do with yourself, Lego wise now? You, you peaked. Mate, you, you haven't even seen the start of it yet. Don't worry about that. You just, just watch this space. You peaked. You can call it whatever you want, as long as you're watching. As long as you're watching. <laughs> oh, we got a late comer. Hello, Mickey3CS. Late to the party, but always welcome. We, we've been invaded by Billsy. This is now the Billsy show. Billsy and friends. Billsy and friends. PGA Friday, Billsy. Feature, featuring Aussie Brick Chick, who's who's that chick? Billsy on a Friday, or also known as Frilzy. Frilzy. Oh. oh my goodness. That's what he said. We can just call it 2GIB. Thank God it's Frilzy. Uh, I like where you're going with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Mickey went to see Toy Story 4. Was it any good? Yeah, is it good? Is it good? I'm dying to see it. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that is on my list of to see. It's Pixar. It's good. Oh, I went, yeah. I went, and, I went and saw the Elton John movie, the um, Rocket Man. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, it was cool. I like I, it. I, I love musicals, so it was like totally my jam. Oh, that's right. You were telling me that. Hey, Bill, it's a full musical more than a biopic. Yeah, yeah, it's full on musical. It's pretty but, but it's, you know, it's got some real life stuff in it. So, yeah. You, you yeah. know what's crap? The latest Child's Play. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like, it's it's disappointingly bad. Like, I'm talking like 0. 0.5 out of 10. Oh, wow. But don't, don't listen to my reviews. I don't like Black Panther, and that made money. <laughs> Uh, what would you know? Just because yeah. it made money doesn't mean it was good, maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I still reckon you peaked early. Still made money. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do anything for money. Right. Last time I peaked yeah. early, Evie was born. Oh, I think that's it. You left yourself open. I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mickey says, yeah, it's okay. Got a taste of everything. Laugh, cry, scare, or back to memories. Uh, Oh, Toy Story. I'm going to have to go see it, Don. Definitely. 
Unfortunately, Mickey, you've missed all the really exciting stuff earlier before Billsy turned this into the Billsy stream. But we're cool. He doesn't come on often enough for it to be a problem. But when I do, I'm the icing on the cake. Oh, yeah, the icing on the cake or the shit in the bowl. Whatever, you know, whatever you think's a treat. What? Whatever. I hold that against you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. I must admit, um, when I went to go see that movie, oh, God, made the mistake of not taking um, our own snacks in. Spent a few dollars. Oh, spent more money on the food than we did on the tickets. Yeah, movies all, suck when it comes to food. All we got was two frozen drinks, and they weren't big ones. Yeah, Cineplex at Vicky Point. Yeah, yeah, tight ass. Ha <laughs> Diggler says, wedding cake icing, so thick you can't get through it. Ooh. Burn. Well, I've been called a thick boy before, but I don't know how he'd know. <laughs> oh. Maybe he's got somewhere bugged. I don't know. My browser history. Your browser Oh, no. Um, oh, talking about movies, actually, this one only relates to Bill and Jody. Our next movie is Book Smart. Yeah. Uh, What's that? Uh, What's that one? It's it's. Uh, I don't know. It looks looks like kind of like a girl version rip off a of super bad almost. Yeah, I think when it, like next week or the week after. Uh, a couple of weeks, I think. Yeah, still a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I do remember some things of Japan. I remember you telling me that. Yeah. And for those who don't know, we get free movies once a month. Oh, lucky you. Oh, yeah, hey, you, you're more than welcome to come if you want to travel to the Gold Coast. Yeah, it's a long way to go for a free ticket. But it's not a long way to go to see your buddy Billsy. It's near the Lego store. Near the Lego store. I'd have to want to go to the Lego store first. I'm oh, no, this one's a pack there. Oh, is it? Yep. Sweet. Ah, forgot to plug in the charger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, very suddenly red button. Oh, oh man. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I can hear the beeping. Yeah, I'm reversing. I mean, oh. walking backwards. Sounds like an ambulance. <laughs> I thought it was Shree's computer beeping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it made a, it made a noise like, boom, boom, your battery is low. I'm like, oh, shh. I'll be back. I broke something. Okay. <gasps> you broke something. Quick, everybody talk. Well, you can. Well, you can. Billsy's a tool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's like, do, <laughs> Okay, let's okay in the server, in the stream. <laughs> Let, let's have a vote. Who wants me to eject Billsy? Vote one for yes, two for no. <laughs> That's the bomb cow plant beeping. Oh, no. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's voting. Vote. Vote one to eject. Vote two. And Mickey voted three. Mickey. And vote three for the stream to end. So what did they say? Was it yes first or no first? You said one for yes, two for no. Oh, one for yes, two for no. Oh, nobody wants to reject him. You guys are boring. Right? <laughs> 12. Hey, Spam says what? Oh, okay. Joe. Joe has a very, very heavy weighting in this voting. Bye-bye. <laughs> You've been voted off the island. Oh, did I do that? Uh, I think I think we're just about ready to wrap up anyway. <laughs> Ouch. 
Douglas says one when he gets back. Yeah, it doesn't have the impact when he doesn't know what's happened. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna be talking. Go, okay. you still there, guys? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, that was mean, but. No, I really could get a word in edgewise. I, I love Vilzy, but in small doses. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> hey, Spam. Oh, Joe's saying he's working on Lego picks. He got commissioned to do 10 picks. Nice, Joe. Am I thinking, why aren't you in here? Oh, you're busy working. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, you just literally said that, working on, on picks. That's cool. Uh, Starlight, let me ask, big W toy sale discuss. Not buying Lego, trying to save. We only bought like four sets from the big W sale. We did quite well. Mm, mm, mm. We spent more on Nerf guns than we did on Lego, I think. What else did we buy? Mainly friends sets. I'm planning to pick up the green train on Wednesday. Oh, ours, okay. I think W already sold out of those. <laughs> Joe has had enough of Ilzy after Japan. <laughs> Apparently, people have been saying that if they go, if you go into Maya, they'll, um, oh, they'll, that's big W's online price for the corner garage and the other one. Oh, uh, really? In restaurant. Same, I already have that. So good for anyone else. Yeah, good for anyone who can actually get into a mine. <laughs> Billsy's just <laughs> you know, Oh, I hope he doesn't take it the wrong way. Kick him off the just screen. Just say he dropped out. What is? What's the way to take it? I don't know. You booted him. <laughs> Pretty much only one way you can really take it. Just say, say he just dropped out. I'm pretty sure it messages you and says you've been kicked. Yeah, it does. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we did it to Darren once. It was funny. Yeah, it took half an hour for him to get back on. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any... <laughs> Didn't really know what happened. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Oh, what a shame. Um, where are we? Starlight, let me say, couldn't find a big Lego Movie 2 spaceship that wasn't damaged by security tags. I'm not loving it. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, it, it, it's an unfortunate thing with big sets. So, some stores are good at that. They actually put things underneath the straps so that it doesn't dig into it. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, the spider wraps damage. Spider wraps are awful. Yeah, but Lego's for building. Yeah, but, you know, you, sometimes you want just, you know, the experience of a pristine box. But depending on the set, you may want the box as well. Yes, yes. Quite often those large sets of boxes are a storage item as well. Uh, Mickey3CS says, I scored the Bugatti from my eBay store last week. Nice. Nice. Uh, Starlight Lemming says, I want to build it and keep the box. Yes, I don't blame you. That's a good idea. That's all right. I've got a ticket, ticket tech voucher this week. Oh, did you just? Was that? I won, I won that about a month ago. Oh, what does that actually do for you? Uh, it's valid until 2022. Yeah, oh, that's what it does. And I can buy whatever I want. Oh, okay. Tech. Anything that Ticket Tech does. Oh, you can buy yourself a ticket to a Ryan McNaught show. Uh, <laughs> we all we all know you just love Ryan McNaught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can buy buy a ticket to Elton John. Elton no, John. sold out. No, no, they're putting up a second lot of tickets to the Sunshine Coast. All, all, all the big, all, all the lower, lower um, selling tickets are sold out. Oh. Only like three hundred and something dollars. I was thinking of getting one for Mum. Yeah. 
They haven't gone on sale yet. Yeah, yeah, they're on sale. They're sold out. For the Sunshine Coast. Yep. So I don't care. Only, only the expensive stuff was left. Yeah, right. I looked. <sighs> Oh, well, the last time I checked, they were, they were announcing that they're releasing a second um, second lot of tickets because they're extending the the tour dates. Like, mm. again. We'll see. Yeah, because I, I read that they were releasing... Well, I, can hold, well, I, can, I can hold out for um, Spice Girls next year. No, nah, Spice Girls. <laughs> If you want to go see Spice Girls, I'll go with you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. No, I don't want to experience that again. What? You yeah. remember what you did at Guy Sebastian concert? Oh. Oh, my God. I've never heard my sister scream like a little teeny bopper in my life. I've never been to a concert in my life. It was my first <laughs> I, I got these tickets dead cheap off a mate because he won them on the radio. I think it was like 20 bucks I oh, paid okay. for them. And I took Cherie to it. Yeah. Bill, <laughs> Bill, check the live chat. Um, Mickey's got a um, message that's directed at you. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, anyway, what were you saying, Adam? You screamed like a little teenage girl. Yeah, and in my well, ear. Well, that's what you get for taking me to a. <laughs> I didn't realize you really like uh, yeah, that much. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, I regret I, it. I, I, I love Sky Sebastian. <laughs> and then, now, if, to everyone in the chat, this is Guy Sebastian when he first started touring. Yeah, yeah, he'd won, what was it, Australian Idol? Mm. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm thinking maybe maybe it's time to wrap up the stream. Are, are, we, are, we, are we feeling it, boys and girls? Yeah. Feeling it, feeling it in our bones? Okay. I want to say thank you to everyone's joining us in the live chat is... Um, been very eye-opening and it's been very inspiring so thank you if anyone is watching this on the playback and you want to give me some ideas of what to do for a new display um just comment comment below it's all good um i will reply and let you know, you know what i think uh i want to say thank you to dark side pricks for coming bye everybody as always thank you to bill and jody no worries, hi. Hey, <laughs> I want to hear more about God Sebastian Diggles oh from Vicken. And thank you, Adam. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on, on that note, uh, I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a fun night. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Till next time. Till next time.